Hi there, welcome back to the Gear for Music Synth and Tech channel. My name is Rick and today we're going to delve into the world of small mixers. Now a mixer is an integral part of any live audio setup and there are a lot to choose from. So today we've decided we're going to go through our top five choices for small mixers and see what one's best for you. So first up we've got the Sub-Zero SZ Mix 06 USB. Now the good thing about this device is it's actually got six inputs. You've got two XLR inputs and then you've got two stereo inputs here. It also has a USB port on the side here so you can connect it up to your computer and use it as an audio interface. The thing I like most about this mixer is the fact that you've got all of your controls on the front and you've got all of your connections on the back. It gets all the cables out of the way so it makes it a lot easier. You've also got a CD input just here just if you want to add your phone or something like that. And you've also got a EQ controls. So you've got your high and you've got your low here as well. I think this device best suits somebody who's jumping into the world of mixing or maybe even for somebody who wants to do podcasting because you do have the USB on the side here, you can use it as an audio interface. So next up we have the Mackie Mix 8 mixer. Now the difference between this one and the last one that we looked at is it actually has eight channels. You've got your two XLR inputs here, you've got your stereo inputs here as well, but then you've also got an additional input here for your tape in or for auxiliary cables or anything like that. This unit also has a high, mid and low frequency, so you've got a little bit more sculpting of your EQ and you also have an auxiliary send here as well, so you can either use that to run monitors or you can use that to run an effects chain through your return. One thing to note is that this mixer does not have a USB port, so it does not work as an audio interface. That being said, it's really robust, it's got a metal frame and it's just going to get the job done. Up next, we have the Behringer Zenix 1002 SFX. Now the difference between this unit and the other ones that we've looked at is the fact that this one has 10 inputs. You've got your two XLRs here and then you've got your stereo inputs here up to 10 channels. The other thing is they've got EQ here like the previous one with mids, highs and lows. And you've also reintroduced the USB. So again, using it as an audio interface for podcasters or recording or whatnot. But the main thing that makes this different to the ones that we've looked at previously is the fact that this has got effects in built into it as well. And that includes reverb, delay, mod, and realistically anything to shape your sound. I think this unit would be best for a small band, uh, anything that can utilize these line inputs. So say for instance, keyboards, synths, or anything like that got you covered. Next up we have the Soundcraft Notepad 8 FX. Now this unit has eight inputs. You've got your two XLRs here. Now these are Soundcraft preamps so they have fantastic sound and they're also combi inputs as well. So you've got your jack and you've also got your XLR. You also have your stereo inputs here as well and then an RCA input here too. You've also got USB, so this device again can be used as an audio interface. But the thing that sets this apart over the other units is the fact that it's got lexicon effects inbuilt. So you're getting that studio sound in a live unit. I think it's perfect for somebody who's in a small band or maybe doing a duo or something like that. But realistically, the people want to hone in on the sound and have studio grade effects in a compact unit. Last but not least, we have the Yamaha MG10XU. Now this is my favorite from the bunch. It's built Yamaha strong. This device has got 10 inputs, but this time you've got four XLR inputs. So it's better for a band situation, something along the lines of that. The other thing with this is on channel one and channel two, you've got your compressor. So that means you can sculpt your sound and tame your sound a little bit more to cater to your needs. But it also has a pad that are available on these four inputs as well. So say for instance, if you wanted to have a kick drum or a snare drum, you can control those high decibel signals and not have any clipping in your mix. You've also got your EQ here, which is high, mids and lows, but you've also got Yamaha inbuilt effects. Now the Yamaha inbuilt effects has got a little bit more than what you had on the Soundcraft, so you can really sculpt a sound specifically for you. This mixer is perfect for anybody who wants a full featured unit. Whether you're gonna be doing bands or whether you're gonna be doing podcasts, this thing is gonna see you through in every situation possible. Well, there you have it. There are our top five choices for small mixers this year. And as you can see, each of these have got their pros and cons, and it's up to you to decide what you need and what's best for yourself. You may need a small mixer for home, or maybe you need something that's got extra input and control like the Yamaha mixer. Are there any mixers that we didn't have in the list? If so, feel free to comment down below and let us know. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As for me, I'm Rick. Have a good day.